Hi there, so this is now the video about the equipment to use for trying to sit differently. The first thing you're going to have in your house obviously is a chair. And most chairs, like dining chairs or computer desk chairs, would have a downward slope on the seat here. So we're going to try and change that because with this downward slope, after a while, with the best intentions in the world, you will start slouching back. So to change this downward slope, I recommend using a wedge like this buy them online or you can get a towel rolled it up and put it at the back of your chair when you're now sitting on the chair you don't sit all the way back you just sit up a little bit down the hill here you see the ankle has changed now you're sitting on a, a forward facing slope it's very difficult to slouch back when you're actually going downhill your pelvis has been changed it's much easier to sit up tall there's no tension in your neck one of the best ways to make a change to your health is to change the way you sit on your chair or your computer chair, so I highly recommend that. Um, another basic chair alternative would be to use any kind of yoga ball. So instead of sitting on your regular chair, you've got your yoga ball and you can move around a bit. You're still sitting, but it's more dynamic. You're more aware of your posture and you're also not leaning against anything. Okay, there's no backrest here, so you have to work a little bit harder. Your core works a little bit harder. For children, you can get smaller yoga balls like this, or you can just deflate your regular size yoga ball as well, so everybody can be catered for in the family. So they're the more obvious ways to change the way you sit at home, but really I'd love you to get down to the floor and ditching your chairs if you can. And sitting on the floor, you don't need any equipment, obviously you just sit on your floor, but after a while you might get uncomfortable, or you may not be used to sitting on the floor. So I'll show you the equipment that I use all the time to help me sit on the floor. And the number one piece of equipment I have is a yoga bolster. These yoga bolsters here. Um, if you don't have one of these, you can get some sleeping bags, maybe get two together, uh, wrap them up with duct tape so they don't move around too much. And then you have a little bit of extra height to help you sit on the floor. And the number one way would be maybe to sit as if riding a horse. So you're watching TV, you've got great posture, no tension in your back, no tension in your neck. You could even ride side saddle on your horse, or you could sit. You could sit cross-legged. There's no real right or wrong way. After a while, you would get, would get uncomfortable, so you'll naturally change position. We're in a squatting position here, or maybe you'll stretch out one leg, and then the other. Okay, so lots of different options. And um, if you are stiff or you have particular injuries that you're going through, you may need two of these to sit on one on top of the other, particularly if you've got knee problems or ankle problems. So just be aware of that. You might need a little bit more height than the regular shoulder uh, yoga bolster. I also use this yoga bolster for lying on the floor. So I'll show you what that looks like. So if I'm doing my crossword puzzle, I will do it lying on the yoga bolster, resting on the floor. I'll have my crossword puzzle here and I'll be working away. Also got to do reading in this position. It's really comfortable for kids for reading as well. Um, we're doing puzzles, board games. It's a really nice position to be in. So that's another option. You can use a big cushion, a sofa cushion instead of a yoga bolster. What else? I also like to use these yoga blocks. They're very inexpensive. You can use a thick book or a big pillow instead. Again, you can sit on it cross-legged squatting style, legs out front, change it up. The more frequently you change position, the better. And the key to all this is to leave the stuff lying around. If you put it away, you have to take it out again to use it. So if you can get over the neat freak inside you, leave the stuff lying around and you're much more likely to use it. I also like to use this, which is called a half dome. I make these myself by using a regular roller, like this, you get this regular roller. I cut it into thirds, so three shapes that way, and I put it lengthways and I cut down again. So you end up with six of these foam rollers. Um, you can use them with calf stretches, but I also like to use them to sit on. So you actually sit on them this way, like a rocking chair. So you put it on the floor, you're sitting on it, and it tilts your pelvis forward. It's really comfortable. Again, you can sit cross-legged, squatting, one leg up, one leg down, just an alternative to get comfortable while you're sitting on the floor. 
You also might have some of these lying around at home, like a wobble board. You can sit on top of that. Just, it's just a cushion alternative. You can use regular cushions instead. And I also like to use this, the IKEA Mammoth stool. Um, very handy, very inexpensive. I think it's about six euro. You can use it to support you here in a kind of a sitting position. Technically, I think it holds 30 kilos, so I'm definitely more than 30 kilos, but I'm not sitting full weight on it here. I'm just leaning against a little bit. Really nice stretch for the hip flexors, and it's a change out of your regular chair. No pressure on my knees, no pressure on my ankles. And the nice thing with this as well is getting up. So you can use the chair like a little prop here to help you get off the floor if you find that difficult to do so. So there are just some uh, ideas you have really for sitting differently this week. Um, some are more su suitable for children, some are more suitable for adults. Um, you don't need any equipment at all, you can just sit on the floor. So no, no reason we're not to get started. So I hope you enjoy that advice.